Hello Capricorn, welcome to the Spirit Font. We're doing things a little bit differently today and having a look at who's coming towards you. Will it be an ex or should you move on to the next? For the rest of February, I am offering my lover's readings on special. If you're interested, the information is in the description below. All right, Capricorn, let's see who's coming towards you. Remember guys, please, you have to use your own discretion. This is a general reading. If these energies sound like someone that you know, then possibly it's an ex. If this doesn't sound like an ex, then these could be energies that you're manifesting in your new person, all right? I feel like you're manifesting someone who's very vibrant, um, has a very beautiful, light-hearted energy. The kind of person who walks into the room and lights up the room, has a beautiful, bright smile, very enthusiastic, um, very young-hearted spirit is what I'm picking up. If that's not it, then possibly this person's very immature. Um, I feel like this person is very open and honest with their emotions. This is someone who wants to rush towards you. They're very open, very honest, very clear. Um, their communication is very straight to the point, especially when it comes to how they feel about you. This person doesn't seem to have any secrets. They don't seem to have any fears when it comes to commitment. And this is something that they want. I feel like you are something that they want. And they want to rush towards you. This person, like I said, um... Their energy just seems like they're not hiding anything anymore. Um, if it's an ex, I feel like they've thought about this relationship. They've thought about being with you and they are rushing towards you with an offer. If that's not the case, then there's someone around you who's noticed you, likes what they see, and they want to come forward very quickly and communicate very clearly with you what their intentions are. Um, this person could be a Leo. I'm picking up some air energy and possibly water as well. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo, like I said. Um, yeah, I feel like this person could also have children. If that's not the case, um, they see possibly having children with you. They want to ride off into the sunset and have that White picket fence with you. That's the energy I'm picking up on. This could be someone that you possibly even go the whole way with, as I'm seeing possibly even a proposal here. So, wow, there's someone who's coming towards you very quickly with very clear communication about how they feel about you, okay? So, I just want to pick up on whether this could be an ex or if you're manifesting someone new. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, this is a lot. Let's just see what's going on here. All right, well, this to me is kind of giving me the energy that this might be an X. But I'm going to ask for just one card, okay? Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting an X here, my beautiful Capricorn. Especially now that I see this at the bottom of the deck, you might have been dealing with someone who was very immature in the past, um, didn't want to commit, was coming in and out of your life and possibly could have been um, giving you player energies, giving you the idea that you're just an option or they have many options. I'm picking that energy up very strongly from this Knight of Wands, but we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Death. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. I really feel like you're pulling in an X. I don't know if this is something that you want, if you've been waiting for this X, but possibly you haven't been communicating with this person for quite some time. I say that because of the Ace of Swords. There was definitely an ending here that was very stressful, whether it's for you or for your person. I feel like your person spent a lot of time apart from you, but in this time apart, they've been thinking, um, pondering about this relationship, very anxious, very um, in their head about what has happened. I feel like the person that you're dealing with um, has been very guilty even, especially with this Knight of Wands energy. I'm picking up a little bit of guilt because possibly it was their actions that caused the ending of this relationship. It's their actions that caused the ending of communication. And it's now their responsibility to come forward with some sort of offer some sort of 
breaking of the ice, possibly even an apology. There are a lot of nights in this reading. That's why I'm picking up a very immature energy. You could be dealing with someone who's younger than you, or they just have a very young outlook on life. And that's why they had these shady player tendencies before. They still have a very young outlook on life, but I feel like your person's gone within when it comes to this relationship, when it comes to the offer that they didn't bring forward. They've done some introspection. I feel like this breakup was a lot more hectic for this person than they were anticipating. And they want a rebirth. The death is a signifier that they want to squash things, um, clear the energies, uh, basically let bygones be bygones and create space for something new. I feel like this person has um, realized how much joy and happiness you bring to their life. And I mean, the two of cups is here. This person has very strong feelings for you and they regret what they've done. They're coming forward with some sort of communication, with some opening up of the heart. It is a very small offer. Possibly this person is just going to try and test the waters to break this silence. Um, so don't expect this person to straight up um, start pouring their feelings out to you. I feel like this person will come forward with just like a, hey, how have you been? How's the weather? How's your brother? How's so-and-so? Um, and then should you reciprocate, then possibly they'll start coming forward with all of these beautiful energies of expressing just how much it is you mean to them, just how sorry they possibly are for whatever it is that caused the ending of this relationship. And I feel like this person is ready to move forward very, very quickly with you into something a little bit better. So yeah, I'm picking up a lot of X energies here. If that's not the case, if this doesn't sound like someone you know, you're pulling in someone who's coming from something that probably caused a lot of damage. Um, I don't think that they are in communication with the person from the past. They've done a lot of healing within themselves. And I feel like this person is ready. This person is ready for love. Uh, and I think that they've... They've, you've caught this person's eye and they are willing to come forward and let you know that they want to take you out for some coffee or the movies. I don't know where you guys are, if the coffees and movies are allowed right now with all the restrictions, but your person has something small that they want to offer you, which is beautiful. Either way, whether it's an X or an X, you've got some beautiful loving energies coming in your direction. So let's clap. Oh my gosh, this is an X, guys. <laughs> wow, this is an X for sure. Look at this. Someone who feels like they dropped the ball. Someone who feels like they like you're getting away from them. Um, more nights, by the way. Um, this person is still, there's still some growing up that needs to be done. But they they know how they feel about you. They want to communicate with you and they want a new cycle with you, a happier cycle. There's some communication, some sort of um, apology that this person has for you. If it's not an apology, it's an explanation. It's breaking the ice. It's an offer, okay? Um, this person has you on their mind a lot, a lot of thinking about you, a lot of thinking about this communication with this page of swords. Um, I think your person is trying to find out some information about you since possibly you haven't been talking in some time. They could be um, looking you up online to see if there's someone new. If they're mutual friends in this situation, they're probably asking your friends, but your person's trying to figure out how they can, they can come back into your life life, how they can apologize, possibly get you back and start a new cycle. Wow, how lovely. Actually, I don't know if it's lovely because <laughs> I don't know if you want your ex, but look at the bottom of the deck, wish fulfillment. You are this person's wish fulfillment. You are this person's star. And we had the sun out as well. You make this person very happy. Um, I feel like possibly right now they do feel like this reconciliation might be out of reach. As you can see, there's a pig here. It's almost like I'll get them back when pigs fly or it's almost like you're out of reach. But I do feel your person will come forward. Oh my gosh, your person's going to come forward and reconcile. The Three of Cups, Chariot, and we had the Ace of Swords before. So 
and the knight of swords fast fast movement your person's coming in fast i think they know that they've spent too much time apart from you or maybe there's competition because you guys have been apart for quite some time so they're gonna rush in and try to communicate that they want a restart Ooh, beautiful capricorn let me know what's going on here so to finish off i'm gonna do something new and use uh what do you call these Healing with the Angels, Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. Um, they have like personality traits and energies that might describe this person a little bit better. So let's see, okay? Whether it's an X or next, these are energies you could possibly, wow. Uh, these are energies you could possibly pick up in the person coming towards you. Self-acceptance. Wow, this is... Oh my gosh, Capricorn, I really feel like you're drawing an X towards you. <laughs> this person's name randomly could be Michael, doesn't have to be. Uh, but we've got New Beginnings, Archangel Michael, Trust and Self-Acceptance. So what I think this is saying to me is that you need to trust the process. Yes, of course. Trust that this... Um, relationship this connection is divinely protected and there is a new beginning coming towards you all right so that's your message but i am picking up these energies your person's very youthful your person has a lot of um what's the word i don't want to say ego but they're very confident that's the word i'm looking for very self-assured very confident your person trusts in this relationship they trust in this new beginning they could be very masculine have very protective energies towards them especially with that sun and leo energy that i'm picking up on this person could be quite uh, masculine even if they're feminine that just means maybe they're quite domineering a little bit jealous um a little forceful very protective those energies can be very beautiful if this person balances them out um, but this person wants something new a new beginning they're starting to trust this relationship they are starting to accept this relationship so please 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 do prepare for some sort of communication from someone from the past or some sort of communication from someone who's had their eye on you okay if it's someone new, listen to this reading again and just pick up on their personality traits. I really am picking up on a very strong character here. All right, this is such a beautiful reading. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Do like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, lovers' readings are on special. Don't forget. I'll catch you in your March reading. Bye.